Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Pop Preview. I'm Sean. I'm Alex. And today we're watching the Joker trailer number two. And I'm so excited because I'm actually thinking this is the best Joker that we've seen, even better than Heath Ledger. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, just from the last trailer and yeah. some of the reviews that are coming in, I, I can totally see how this could be an Oscar material Joker. An Oscar material Joker. I mean, theoretically, and Heath Ledger was an Oscar. Theoretically, right? yes. Yeah. This is true. Um, and he did a fantastic job, but, you know, it's time to move on. And well. I think that Joaquin Phoenix is just really, 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 really... Yeah, I mean... It, it just becomes... You, you lose... It doesn't look like him anymore, you know? No, like, he lost himself in this. Yes. And I think that's why he signed on to this. Yeah. It's because... He knew this was gonna be a one and done. He could he could literally throw everything, everything at this yeah. and then just walk away from it. So all the people were saying like, "Oh, I want this to tie into other like." If you want that, and if Warner Brothers wanted that, he wouldn't have done it. The reason he signed on for this because he knew it was pitched to him. This is a one and done story. There's there's no right. sequel. There's no Frank extended Daniel universe massive, yeah, crap. There's none of that. This is a one and done story, and I love that. And I don't understand why. People don't understand and see the the, the joy yeah. of something where it's just they're telling a story mm -hmm. from A to Z and that's it. Well, I you know I agree with you completely, and we've completely lost sight of what that means. Yeah. To just tell one story. Uh, of course. Not everything has to be a franchise. Well, of course, but I mean, this is a, a character who has gone through many, yeah. and a lot of people are saying even though they. They keep saying, no, this does not tie in in any way to the DC Universe. However, we do know uh, in the comics there are multiple Jokers. Yeah. There is not just one. So it would, it kind of makes a little bit of sense to think, It'd like, okay, this is just doesn't. one of them. Yeah. And maybe maybe this Joker inspired Heath Ledger's Joker, you know, in the movies. You know, yeah. like, you, when you think of it that way, it's it's really kind of interesting to think about. I, I, I just hope they don't do anything. I, I, well, really I, don't, just hope I don't think they will. I but, hope I hope not. But, re, but like, if it makes you feel better, if you're, like, one of the people who are like, no, I need a franchise. Just, no, no, just imagine, no, you don't. Just imagine that this Joker is part of that universe. No, you don't. This movie... I believe is was made to stand on its own. Now, if Warner Bros. wants to do some BS and backtrack, tie it into something else, that's another thing. But I don't think you're ever going to see Joaquin Phoenix play the Joker again. Because, remember, if you don't remember, he was re this close to being Doctor Strange um, in the MCU. And the only reason he didn't do that, because he knew it would require him yeah. to sign up to multiple pictures, do a whole lot of press tours and all that stuff, and he wasn't interested in that. I mean, he he retired from acting yeah. for a while. Like, that's how much he just sort of was like, no, I only do this when the circumstances is, We're right. And the me. way they pitched it to him, <laughs> yeah. this is like, we're, you're, we're going to do a character study, you're going to do a deep dive into w what makes this guy what he is, and then that's it. And that's the re he lost fifty five pounds for Christ's sake to do this movie. We're not gonna we're Maybe not gonna I see be this. Joker. Again. <laughs> we're not gonna see this again. And I, frankly, I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to see this and like enjoy it for what it is, and then move on. Like it doesn't have to go anywhere but right here. I don't care where it ends. Well, let's watch the trailer. Yeah. I'm just so excited. Can you please stop bothering my kid? That would be me like, oh, get out of here, weirdo! Oh, oh it's just pretty oh, nice. I have some bad news for you. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. <laughs> this is the last time we'll be meeting. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. Yeah, must have. And finally, in a world where everyone thinks they could do my job, check out this guy. When I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. It's the joke. Just 
It's so awful, isn't it? For my whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed. But I do. And people are starting to notice. You think this is funny? Is this a joke to you? Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Yes! Send in the clouds. Wow. <laughs> Where's my wallet so I can pay for the ticket right now? Where's my money? Here, take my money, Warner Brothers. Take it. Such a good trailer. Oh so good. He looks like my ex boyfriend. Like <laughs> the way, like the the beauty thing about this trailer is, is that we're getting a good sense of this world now. That's why this is a standalone movie. This doesn't look like a world where Superman exists, mm -hmm. and obviously Batman's not around. Like none of that looks like it exists in this world. It's just a guy. Who has problems and he gets driven to a point where he, he has to take on this Joker uh, personality or facade. Uh, I'm curious how how he's gonna get that way. Like we see in the trailer, like all I have is these negative thoughts and people are taking him seriously and they're teasing him and he, life's not going his way and I'm pretty sure something bad's gonna well, happen to it. him and like he just stumble keeps stumbling and stumbling I mean, and stumbling. There's the shot and it it it's from below and he's looks nice and he's outside looks like a funeral to me i'm thinking mom's not gonna make it through oh, the I end of the so. movie <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's probably one of the inciting incidents or at least one of the things that pushes him over the edge if he doesn't really have anything well we saw to... we saw her in the hospital that's exactly her. yeah so yeah. if he doesn't really have anything to to live for and ev no one takes him seriously then yeah that, that'll do it to anyone and i find it interesting that he's inciting like other people yeah. to, to do his dirty work for him. Like, he's sort of, um, it's a movement, it looks like. Yeah. Pe people are part of this movement, and I'm kind of wondering what exactly they're fighting for, or what the, like, thematically it is that they're like, yes, this Joker guy's got it right, I'm on his side. Yeah. I kind of wonder, you know, how they're gonna play that out, and what that's Well, gonna usually, be. like, the Joker likes to take over, like, television broadcasts, so maybe he's mm -hmm. spreading his message... Like maybe when he's on that um, on that night late night talk show, yeah, uh, maybe he starts doing things a certain way, and he might beat up the host or something like that. People are like, yeah, he's standing up for the little guy or something like that, where where people want to then follow him and be like him, and then they kind of bring up a little anarchy and a little like. Uh, I'm just looking so forward to this. Like Todd Phillips is directing this. Does not look like a Todd Phillips movie, to be honest. Uh, no. uh, I remember when they first announced that he was directing. I was like, Ooh, "Really, the Hangover guy?" Um, but good for this him for works. breaking out. I mean, I am so so looking forward to this. It wouldn't surprise me, like he's because um, Joaquin Phoenix is getting a lot of buzz. It wouldn't surprise me if he a gets nominated mm -hmm. and also the movie gets nominated. Yeah, too. I like a lot of people are saying it's really dark and. A lot, a lot of critics are saying that maybe this isn't the right time for this story to come out because it does kind of um, go into how um, people with certain mental um, illnesses can fall prey to going um, psychotic and mad. And yes, that is true that we do live in those times, but like that's why cinema exists to shine light on what's happening in our real world and maybe it can start a conversation maybe. Well, Which sure. conversation should happen. You can't keep everything like roses and butterflies. I mean, yeah. you have to do your research, obviously, if you're going to pick a difficult topic. Like, yeah. don't go in like an asshole and act like you know what you're talking about when you don't. Yes. Um, it seems like, or I, I would hope that they obviously did their research yeah. and found a way to tie in, and you know, mental, mental illnesses in a way. Yeah. And obviously, this is a period piece. You mm -hmm. know, this, this doesn't take place now, I no. don't, uh, this takes place in like the 70s. 
Looks like, yeah. Um, so obviously the ideas about mental illness were very different then than very. they are now as yeah. well. So I'm sure that plays a role in addition. Because uh, back then you just like, crazy, that's it. Pretty much, yeah. Or, you know, the, the nuance of, of mental illness really was not... No. There wasn't any nuance, yeah. Like, <laughs> like you're not like us, you're crazy. Mental institution. Pretty much. So, so that I feel like that, that might be an interesting... You know, obviously because of Arkham Asylum, like, I, I don't know if that'll be in this. Yeah, we, just, well, we saw it. It's, oh, did we? Yeah. Okay. So, obviously, that whole thing is important, so... Yes. I'm curious to see how he ties in, because I think maybe he's doing a clown show there, I think, at some point. So, I'm curious to see how how far down the Batman mythos do they go with the Joker. Obviously, Bruce is still a kid. I don't want, don't allude to Batman. I don't care about that. This is the joke. It's called Joker for a reason. God damn it! I don't want to see Batman. I don't want to, don't want to allude for Bruce to like looking at a bat and be like, mm, maybe he's like that's my. I don't care about any of that. Well, he is in it. Yeah, I know, but I don't want it to be, overshadow. Oh, yeah, let, let it be like a quick yeah, cameo yeah. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. that's it. Like, mm -hmm. haha, Bruce Wayne's here because right. he's supposed to be. Right. But other than that, that's it. Yeah, the matter hand is the Joker. And I, yeah. I'd like to think. I think that that's the way. I, I have hope faith, so. I have faith that that's. Yeah, I I really hope so too. I don't want him like showing up a lot in the movie. Like no 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 no. I just you're just there because you have to be there. Yeah, Same thing with Commissioner Gordon. Like all the main characters that we know that will probably be around, mm -hmm. they can be there because they're supposed to be. Just like Arkham is, but I let them be a cameo. Like oh look, oh it's Gordon over there. Right. And then that's it. Yeah, I agree. And like now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, just in terms of my hot take earlier about how this might be the best acted Joker that we've seen, I think what it, what it is is it's an origin story. Yeah. You know, and I think that's why I'm thinking that because I didn't think it could be done. You know, when you think about it, when you think about the Joker, it's sort of like how can you pull that off? How can yes. any actor pull that off? How can you even write that story and have it really resonate and and mean anything? And I think that's what it is that's making me think, like, this is incredible because they're doing it. And Joaquin yeah. Phoenix is, like, really, like, you get it. You get it from yeah. him, you know? And plus, I think it's also... Without the makeup on. It's something that ahead of time, before seeing it, we're, like, we're already, like, this is going to be an amazing performance. Mm -hmm. We didn't really know that going in so much with the Heath Ledger thing. Right. Until you actually saw it, and you're like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. this is incredible. Definitely. I think with the trailers, because it's obviously it's focusing on him, the Dark Knight one didn't necessarily focus on the Joker a lot, so we didn't get a lot to see him, how they were going to portray him. But with this, we, we're seeing a lot. We, we're going to see and him. We, and we, we get it. We understand. Yeah, we're going to see he's exactly. He's human. Yeah, he's one of us. He has, like, a girlfriend. Until, he has a mom. Yeah. yeah it's... Until something, a series of events happens where the guy just goes insane. And I you know the person I feel the worst for is Jared Leto. Mm -hmm. Because now we don't know where his Joker is going to be. And in my point, in the opinion, he got shortchanged in, in Suicide Squad. And now he's not going to be in The Suicide Squad. So where does that leave his Joker? He really got a short change now because we're going to have Heath... Le we got Jack Nicholson's Joker, Heath, Le Heath Leather's Joker. Now we're going to have this Joker. And then there's his Joker... Which, not to his... Like, I'm curious to see more of of Jared Leto's Joker. Now, if you told me now that once this crushes it, because I know it's going to, if they said, all right, now we're making a Heath Ledger Joker movie, I'd be like, yes, sign me up for that, and you can then tie that into everything else, and I'll be fine. This, not so much, leave it alone. But I, I really feel bad for him, because where does this leave him and his Joker? Mm. Um, I don't know. I mean, he's... On he's the back burner. A He's a pretty good actor. He'll find other things to do. No, but it's, it's not that he won't find other things to do. It's just the fact that I don't think he got a fair shake. I like, his Joker... Like, I know, it obviously, it does happen, but his Joker was intriguing enough where I want to see more. Obviously, this Joker is going to be really intriguing. Hopefully, they don't kill him at the end, which that I hope they don't do. Um, they just leave it open-ended, and you decide what happens to him going forward. But... We're gonna see, we're gonna want to see more of this Joker, but we're never going to, which is what I want. I could see them killing him at the uh, end beca uh. because of the whole multiple Joker thing. He's not the only one, so if they kill him, that's fine. One of his other, you know, cronies pick, pick up the mantle. Well, exactly. Yep. I mean, I'd be okay. Okay, so, so he, he convinced so me. He, that's okay. If, if like 
if he dies in like the last shot is someone else picking up the Joker mask or whatever, putting the pick, uh, makeup yeah, on. Yeah, and that's kind of how it goes. Uh, yeah. I'd, be, I'd be okay with that, but I prefer like it to be literally, because we're not going to revisit the this story again, or this character again, or version, just let it let your imagination take the Joker wherever you want him after that. I, That's, think, I think you could do it either way. You'd by killing him, because like we saw a million people running around masks. Yeah, I mean, if you if they paint the way, way you're doing it, I'm fine. But if I had my druthers, I would just say I let them be running around that 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 Gotham City doing crazy things forever in my mind. Um, but I, I I'm really looking forward to this. Very um, excited. Boy, I like. I can't remember the last um, time I felt this excited for something that like I know is not going to go anywhere. Like a movie, a uh, just a movie. Yeah. That's not really a franchise. I gotta be honest. I, I don't. Rem I don't remember the last time I've been excited about like a comic book movie, a superhero movie. I mean, they're just so prevalent. I just I can't get excited. It's just like oh. Well, I'm. Blah, well, blah, blah, I'm blah, 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 blah. I'm this not one actually feels like it, it might doesn't feel like a comic book movie. It just well, doesn't. Right, but it also feels like it might mean more, like something. And I think it's the darkness. Yeah. Um, and just the fact that it's an origin story that I don't think anyone ever expected could be really done well. Um, yeah. So I'm excited just because. Well, well, I mean, it's a, it's. I wouldn't even call it a comic book movie. I just think it's a, it's a movie about a comic book character. Well, that's what I meant. Yeah. Like so, <laughs> I like you can appreciate it as just a. Film, because God forbid you call a superhero movie a film. Oh my God! But I think you can appreciate this. I think this movie is gonna transcend mm -hmm. the comic book genre. Well, it's kind of like how the Dark Knight did. Well, sure, yeah. So like, I don't I think history will like look back at this movie. Oh, look at that comic book movie. I mean, like, no. theoretically it is. Yeah. But it's not going to be treated as exactly. such. Yeah, that's why I'm excited. And I think that's probably why it I'm... it could easily get nominated, even though Black Panther got nominated. But I think this will be treated not as, oh, a superhero movie got nominated. I don't know why Black Panther got nominated. Well, that's that's a story for another day. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think when this gets nominated, it's like, oh, look at this superhero movie. It's like, yeah. oh, this is a great movie about a superhero it's... character that just elevated outside of the, the comic book genre. Yeah. So I, I can't speak on how I'm super excited about this movie. I don't see how this movie can let me down at all. It's possible, but I don't think so. But I what do you guys... Th I hope not. If this movie ends up being terrible, I'm going to be annoyed. There's no way it can be... It can't be terrible. Well, or even be bad. Even if it's bad, or like I didn't like it, or it was just okay. Like, I'm going with... My expectations are very high at yeah. this point. They're I'm okay. not going to lie. They're up here. I usually keep mine around here. Mine are so, up here. Yeah. So I'd be Crazy. very if 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 it's not here or here, I'm not I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed to be honest. Maybe that I'm that's asking too much, but I really don't think so. Yeah. Um, but what do you guys think? Excited for the Joker? What do you think of this trailer? Like we saw a lot of 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 stuff that we saw from the first one, but they just expanded upon it. Like, what do you think of Joaquin Phoenix? Do you think he's gonna get nominated for an Oscar? We think he is. What do you guys think? I think the movie's even. Just okay, it, it might get nominated for Best Picture. It might sweep, sneak in there. But if it's great, it's definitely going to get nominated for sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I would put money on it that it's going to. Um, but what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Also, like, subscribe, share, do all those great things. I Obviously, we're not going to get another trailer before then, which is fine. Don't need one. So you definitely will see a review of the movie when it does come out. We're going to definitely go see it opening night. Uh, first showing... Not front row, middle row. I don't like the front row. Um, so look front forward row. to the. <laughs> Some people like the front row. I don't know. So Weird look forward hours. to that. Look forward to that review when it does. When the movie does come out. Um, but until then, I'm Sean. I'm Alex.